Hey there YouTube, this is SGM4306, back with a, uh, another video. I worked on this a little bit more, and I'll just swing her around and show you exactly what's going on. So I've pretty much done all the power wiring into the um, those internal um, transistors to switch everything on automatically, automagically. Anyway, I already wired that. I have this big, long HDMI cable. I'm waiting for a shorter one to come in the mail from China off the slow boat, so that's going to take a while. And also the power supply, uh, I'm waiting on... It's a, um, a power supply to actually power external hard drives, so it should have enough current. Uh, you can see here, just for testing, I have uh, an ATX power supply, and I just kind of chopped off the connector from an old... Um, I think it was an old CD-ROM drive. Uh, just so I can wire something convenient to it. So I can plug this in and it will turn on as well as something beeping behind me. Um, so yeah, basically I have everything wired right now. The uh, Raspberry Pi, when, when you first turn it on, it'll be held in suspend. Uh, so if I swing this over, now keep in mind I didn't wire up um, any of the buttons or anything like that right now. I just have this as a temporary power switch, but I've wired up, sorry about that, I've wired up the marquee, the LCD, and the power indicator. So let's uh, give it a try here. Hit the power switch, and it should boot up. And you can see the marquee just came on. It is really bright. It's swamping out the uh, camera there, but maybe I can uh, focus. Yeah, that's, sh there you go. You can see uh, the marquee, it, actually looks a different color in real life <laughs> it looks very blue um in the image on the camera right now but in real life this is definitely uh pretty pretty pinkish white and um yeah you can see the the logo there in kind of a bluish color it's a little more black in real life though but if i uh go down here you can see the battery icon is basically the power indicator now and that'll just stay lit up there and I'll show you what happens when you go to shut it off. Uh, so we're just booting into uh, RetroPie here. So let's uh, speed through this, and I will uh, show you guys once we get to the main menu how to shut it off and whatnot. Okay, so now we're sitting in the main menu. Now, obviously, none of the controls do anything. I haven't wired them yet. Uh, but if I wanted to, I do have a little dongle plugged into one of these uh, keyboards, so I could actually play this using one of these wireless RF keyboards. Uh, so anyway, you can see that it all works. To, so to shut down, I'm actually going to drill a uh, a hole somewhere around here-ish, um, right through the plastic of the front. I have a uh, power switch that I'd like to use. So I'm going to be drilling that and wiring that later, but this is good enough for the test. So if I just hit the power switch, it issues a shutdown command to uh, the, you know, the Raspberry Pi software, and you can see that the uh, power indicator flashed several times to let you know that it's kind of going into shutdown mode. And once it finishes powering off, battery icon goes off, the screen pops up momentarily to let you know that there's no signal, and then it just shuts off. Now this is in standby mode. If you wanted to repower, all you'd have to do is hit the power switch again, and it'll boot up uh, just as normal. And so this essentially acts like a uh, you know computer's power switch. I, I haven't programmed anything um, in terms of if you press and hold, but it would be very easy to implement sort of like a hard reset in case it crashes or something like that, and it doesn't respond to um, you know any any soft power control commands that I'm sending it. Now, additionally, for the odd reason, if you don't like the original Game Boy uh, marquee, I I've actually cut out a bunch of blanks of um, acrylic basically. In the correct size and so I have uh, these random other logos so I have one for Nintendo obviously and one for NES themed one and the actual material that I used isn't adhesive back these are actually window clings <laughs> that I uh, got printed via an online service so you can see there are quite a number of air bubbles in there uh, but when you put it kind of uh, directly on here and it's backlit that's basically not even noticeable so I didn't really pay particular attention to making sure that there's absolutely no air bubbles in here sort of you know when it goes on it's kind of going to be in a darker area so it's not really that noticeable actually so anyway um let me know what you guys think in terms of uh these three marquees 
uh, which one looks the best. I, I'm kind of a big fan of the Game Boy one since this is a DMG themed uh, mar uh, arcade cabinet sort of thing going on anyway. I just thought that would look kind of cool. Uh, so interesting things. Another thing is uh, I've mounted these speakers here and I can kind of give you guys a quick tour of that. So um, on this underside of the uh, marquee cabinet uh, are these speaker grills, sort of the holes that I drilled. And there's a stereo speakers and then there's an audio amplifier here, which has its own separate control so that you can play in silence if you want. You can turn this guy on and, uh, you know, go play some games and whatnot. And if you guys are interested, um, the top actually lifts open uh, to reveal basically how the, you know, the marquee system works. I have a another piece of plexi behind the original one with the actual graphics. That one is sanded on both sides. I have some... I'm not sure what it is. It's sort of, um, I don't know, like some kind of matte, uh, opaque plastic that I, I got from somewhere. I just cut out thin strips of it and I stuck two um, in order to further, you know, uh, diffuse the light. And then finally, I have the LED strips, uh, which I don't remember ordering uh, these waterproof ones, but they sent me them. So <laughs> I have one extra strip. Um, basically doing this took up most of one strip and which I believe was like four or five feet, something like that. Maybe, maybe a meter or something like that. Uh, so I have an extra strip left. This was only like a dollar something. So this is pretty good actually. And, uh, so I just mounted this and wired it and the wires just passing through the back and the audio amplifiers in here. And obviously the two speakers, and this nicely just closes up and you're not uh, accessing anything to change the marquee or anything like that. Now in the back, another thing to note is um, the, I put a little heat sink for the LCD just in case it gets a little bit warm. So I thought that would be better than, you know, just leaving, leaving it to deal with the heat itself. And uh, another cool thing is I put a little Velcro on the remote for it. And you can just shove the remote <laughs> right there in the corner so that you can never lose the remote. If you ever do need to access it to change, maybe I want to hook this up to an external computer or something like that for some odd reason. I can always do that because I have uh, composite VGA as well as HDMI, but you need a way of changing the mode. Now, I could have grabbed the control signal from this ribbon cable here, uh, which originally was connected to this little... Um, LCD board with the IR sensor. I broke out the IR sensor, but I, you know, removed the other wires uh, for the other buttons and the power LED indicator uh, because I thought it wasn't necessary, which really isn't if you have the remote. So I'm just going to keep the remote there. It's more convenient than drilling extra holes and mounting extra buttons. Anyway, um, everything's all mounted up. It's uh, looking pretty good. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and this is starting to come to a close. All I got to wait for are, um, ordered some crimp pins so I can actually wire up the buttons, a crimper for that, uh, because I don't have one and the actual power supply. So I don't have to rely on this big honking, huge, uh, ATX power supply. Anyway, hopefully you guys liked the video. I've rambled on for about 10 minutes now. Uh, and I will see you guys, uh, after I make some more progress, hopefully I get some more parts in next week. Anyway, bye.